it's only four or five stitches, Ben. You don't want to waste gas on that. If we want to save what's left, if we want it at all to be habitable for the little baby that might be growing in me, we all need to do our part. Okay, except that this is not a hospital. <laughs> the little it's a baby that might be growing. And today's not a clinic day. You don't work here. I mean, you can tell people you, before, dude. You need to be good. Okay, color inside the lines. You'll follow the rules. Okay, but oh. I don't want to Oh my god, you don't want to talk, Ben. Talk. You never follow the Listen. rules. Becky has been on everyone's asses enough as it is around here. I'm not afraid of angry men. I was raised by one. Karina, Karina, Karina. Yes. This isn't about just <laughs> I was angry raised man. by one. This is medical licenses and liability. A tornado just touched down. The well, phones true. are ringing off the hook. There are eight cars scattered all over the city. He needs our help now. Okay, well, yeah. Yeah. I'm worried now. It's, I, mean, it's, I mean, it's a few stitches, right? What could go wrong? Wait, we could get the ladder mm -hmm. lifted off. I hope so. That would require <laughs> no, nothing a bigger hole. But, I mean, it's funny that Warren is the one to talk when he has done worse. I mean, seriously. He has operated in other situations. If your arm is crushed, if it wasn't crushed, chances are you could pull it out from under the damn tree. Would you just just shut up so we can do our job? It's handcuffed. Handcuffed. Be because what? <laughs> what was that? What He's handcuffed to handcuffed. the bed. I said okay. it's handcuffed, right? I can't get my arm out yeah. from under there because it's handcuffed to the bed. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just cut the damn tree, okay? Oh my god, that's hilarious. I love that you're watching this. This is so awkward, but it's so right, hilarious. Your vitals look good. Captain, we need Eva Vasquez to give us the keys to the handcuffs. The keys to what? The oh, keys to the handcuffs. Forgot he was yeah. still coughed. <laughs> His face, like, oh, oh my god, he has, he's can handcuffed. Oh wow, yes. okay, this is deeper than I thought. Oh no, it's deeper than she thought. Now it's gonna bleed, bleed and bleed and bleed and bleed and she's gonna bleed out there. Don't do this to me. Oh gee, that doesn't look good. Okay. Uh, I, the, 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 are you a doctor? Yes. yes. They're both doctors. I'm feeling woozy. Oh, shit. He's going to faint. He's going to faint. He's going to faint. He's going to faint. Oh, my God. If he, if he faints, he's going to rip his arm or something. I'm scared about that. I don't know what happened. You learned that your family uh, basically threw you away and raised your siblings, and, and so you quit your job because nothing feels real, right? So you start sleeping again. With the Honey, wife of the man, she basically kills because, you know, misery loves company. And then, you know, she brings home handcuffs, and you think, hey, that sounds like fun. And then somehow you end up pinned under a tree with all oh, the God. people you've been trying to avoid standing around you, judging I mean, you. Jack, Jack, we're not judging <laughs> you. We, no one's we judging you. you. <laughs> Honey. All right, everybody in position? I mean, you were dealing with some shit. Yeah. I mean, we get it, but... Oh. I mean, is this thing with Eva gonna work? Like, are they just like sleeping together or is it more? Because, I mean, maybe it can work, but I don't know. They seem a bit self destructive for each other. Sorry. Don't. I'm a grown oh my man. God, I he's, walk myself he's to wrist. the doctor. Thank you for your time, though. What about the rest of the tree? <sighs> I think you should probably call a handyman for that. Yeah. <laughs> We're not gonna do that. Oh, shit. Hey, Jack. Yeah, I don't have any more sperm for you, Bishop. You know, the sperm banks uh, run dry, so. <laughs> wow. Okay, oh my God. good luck with all this. I don't know what she was going to say, but I don't think that was it. I don't know. Okay, you, Jack. <laughs> well, thanks for this ride. It's not this way forever. We didn't want it in the first place. Unless you let it kill you. Yeah. Don't. Yeah, don't do that, Jack. Don't self-destruct. I mean, what happened, happened. I mean, it sucks like shit, obviously, but you have done everything to be okay. So, be okay? Well, it's not that easy. I'm sorry. I'm not good with emotions. Okay, I'm sorry, okay? You were right, and I was wrong. No, he could have bled out. Right? You would have lost your medical license, and oh my god, I sound like my wife. Uh-huh. Yes. Is this how you all feel when I break the rules, and you want yes, me not to? Yes, exactly. Yes. What does she do? Oh, okay. Now you get it. What did she do? In the barn. Well, you have done stuff God, like this is that. a horrible feeling. I I owe so many apologies. Yes, Mom, God, you can learn something today, Ben. 
<laughs> those you hormones make you so much meaner than you usually are. I know. <laughs> I know. Don't you think I know? And it's oh not it's not just the hormones. I'm 38, which in the fertility world is considered geriatric, and this is my fifth try, and I've always wanted to give birth. So. Not just have a baby. Give birth. And I might not get to Honey. and this makes me a little meaner too and please somebody change the subject yes oh my god i, I mean I, I really hope she can get pregnant because i did i mean i didn't know she was 38 i think stefania mentioned it recently but we didn't know that so i mean obviously it's harder for her to get pregnant and i really hope she does because she really wants this so i hope she's pregnant right now i hope that less sperm worked like hopefully because she really wants this and if she keeps like if it doesn't work I mean well maybe Maya will have to have the baby or they'll have to adopt but she wants to give birth so I hope she gets this chance to if she really wants to have you heard from my wife uh yeah she, she's fine they're on their way back uh she's apparently fine. Okay. <laughs> they found Jack what about handcuffs and a tree whatever oh my Jack god. is dead to me oh my god well, he She's did leave here. when they impregnated her I, with I his sperm, her, but and he left. Yeah. So I get her so being much. a bit angry about it. She's meaner. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, the hormones and everything. Yeah, I get it. I was on that last week. No oh, grunt work suits you. And make sure you get that little pile of mints over there. Oh, God. He yes, threw sir. that? Are you serious? Why do you keep punching her? You? You have no right to be a dick to Maya. What is it? You're such a small <laughs> man that you feel threatened by her. That you oh think my God! Because she was she's a off. woman who had your job before you. What is it? Okay, you know I'm actually uh, I'm into women with power. Oh God! Thing. Oh God! Yes. Yeah. What oh I'm God. not into is my employees committing crimes, blackmailing my chief. Your wife blackmailed the chief. I've no proof of anything, and that brings us to today. She didn't know that. She didn't know that. Okay, that's going to be problematic. That's not what I'm saying. You are not okay. listening to me. Here we you go. You blackmailed your boss, Maya. Okay, okay. I just need she you to know be on my side. God, everyone is against me. For the last six months, I've been eating crap from everybody. Please, just be on my side. For the last six months, you've been keeping this from me. For the last six months, you come home yeah. miserable. And I don't know why. And when I ask you, deny that anything is wrong with you. And it's been making me crazy. And now the truth is out. Okay, yeah. And you are not even the one who told me. And you need me to be on your side? You need me to be on your side. This is emotional blackmail, Maya, which is not entirely similar to what you did to Chief Ross. Honey, but, you know, I was trying to get my job oh my back, God. okay, for us, for our family. <laughs> Do not give me that crap. This was for you. You know what? Fine. Uh, so what if it was? Okay, I want my job back. Is that a crime? No. But blackmail is a crime. And it's well, not yeah. even about your job. It's, oh, it's about the chaos. I mean, I get You're it. constantly in the middle of yeah. chaos. It, it's, I don't think you know how to live a normal life. It's constantly oh, up and know. down and up and down. And it reminds me of my childhood and it's crazy making. Do you know oh, how impossible you are these days? And it's the hormones and I get it and I am Maya. patient. But now I'm the one that's acting crazy. That's Maya. Really kettle, Karina. Maya. Yes. Oh my God. The hormones what is make me emotional, say? and yes, when I'm angry, gonna I say? feel angry. When I'm sad, I feel sadder. But what you did, there's no hormones to blame, my love. Well, what you, my we love, happy. I love they call each other my love. And you created chaos. We were happy. We, we I mean, were making a baby. I had just gotten we my We were making heart. a baby. We had happiness, and you needed to wreck it. You need to look into that. You need to do I need to what? To fix it. You, I can't, I can't live like that. I can't make a baby with that. Honey, I, oh, wait, with, with that. that? Yes, with you, like that. If we're going to have a baby together, you need to get help. If? Oh my God, that if no. Karina, you could be pregnant Yeah, right they're gonna be having a baby right now. We could be pregnant yes, right I now. I could be. I could be, yeah. That's why you need to get help for us yes. right now. Okay, wait, she's leaving. I mean, Amazing, but f but amazing. I mean, I just gotta say, their chemistry, their acting, top notch, guys. Top notch. They are fucking amazing. I like this, but I hate it, but I like it, but I hate it because there is truth into what she's saying. Like, she needs to get help. Maya needs help. She needs to go to a psychologist or something. She needs therapy. So, I get maybe there was a meaningness to Karina because of the hormones or something, but she's right. I guess it's a bit of tough love. And I hate that 
she said if we're having a baby together no you are having a baby together honey don't change the if i mean we went through all the shack shit for if we're having a baby no you are fucking having a baby and you're gonna be happy about it but maya does need to get help before having that like you need to take care of yourself before taking care of others so i think definitely maya needs to go get help she needs therapy and she needs to figure her shit out and she totally deserves her job back, but not like this. She needs to get herself together to have a baby and to be okay with her wife. So I hate this, but I actually think it's good. Though I still hate that they are fighting, but I do think it's a good thing for them because it could lead to Maya growing as a person and with her personality and her, her feelings. So I'm okay with that. Like, I hate that they are fighting, but I also love that she said, you need help if we want to be okay, like if we're gonna be okay. So. I totally get that and I'm I'm here with Karina on that um, honestly I think I think Maya did some things that because she was angry and she was frustrated and I mean it could happen like we could all do shit like that when we're frustrated and we want something but the fact that she needs therapy she does she's never been to therapy and she definitely needs it she's a person that has gone through a lot in her childhood and she needs to talk about it and she needs to get all those feelings out for real so i'm sorry i love this i love this scene i gotta say their acting is amazing i hate that they are fighting but i think it's so fucking important what karina said to her like you need to get help and they're gonna have a baby together i have no doubt so okay we're not having another sapphic breakup no oh baby i know you're pissed but you're gonna be okay you're gonna be okay you can throw a tray at my face anytime you want. Love you. My dad's been on my mind lately. And you know what he would say about Jack? Really? He would say, he's family. And he's in trouble. Yeah. And we don't wait for him to ask for help. We just help. Yeah. I hope they can help him. And someone needs to I tell Maya to go to therapy me. as well. Not just Corina. Yeah, I mean, I she should you. listen to Corina, so, though. <laughs> well, it's time for me to... Return the favor. Whether yeah. he likes it or not. Yeah. Yeah. I'm helping whether he likes it or not. <laughs> and well, he maybe can I'll ask my dad. Get so. you know, uh, oh my god. What happened? What happened? Oh my god. Very so cute. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Paris. Put on the news. Love put it. on the news. Guys, come here. You gotta Travis, you gotta see this. Come, what is happening? Come, come. Oh, is he no, getting no, elected? No, please don't. No, oh don't. my god. Oh, <laughs> You're here. Your hair looks good. Oh, please <laughs> the, the hair looks good. good morning, but does it look <laughs> Someone's the new fire <laughs> zaddy. <laughs> <laughs> the new fire <laughs> zaddy, yes. I'm here for that. everyone. At ease. I, I came to say good work, Montgomery. You gave some great press, and we really need it right now. Because okay. we're in serious budget wars with the city. I hope when she doesn't run back, into Maya, or I hope she does, so they can talk. Thanks, Chief. You're not going to, though. in his office? No, it's only one okay. minute left, so I don't know. Good work, y'all. No. Mayor Sadie's amazing. <laughs> I love Travis. Mayor oh my god. Mayor Sadie. Chief. And I'm gonna be um, rotating offices, spending a day a week at 19. Is that gonna be a problem for you? You here? No problem. No. It is a problem for me that I still work with Bishop. Lieutenant. Oh my god. No problem, Chief. Okay. Seriously, Tosh. dude, stop. Mm -hmm. It's been six months. You and Maya need to talk. Can we be friends? No, we can't. Oh, damn. So they're Wait. not together anymore because of what Maya did. That, like, they would tell, like, she would tell that they were sleeping together. So I guess that they, they broke up. They broke up and they never dated again. That is on Dex to be Maya's late because she was begging with Karina and angry. How my baby be fast. What an episode, guys. Honestly, okay. My baby's fighting. As I said, loved it but hated it, but loved it but hated it. I want you to know what you guys thought of that fight. Like, do you have hope for them? Do you don't have hope for them? Are you scared? Are you anxious? I mean, I know I'm scared and anxious, but I also think it's gonna help that if Maya gets help, we're gonna be fine. Like, they are gonna fix things and they are gonna have a beautiful baby together. And as, as Danielle and Stefania said, like, it's gonna get bad be before it gets good again. So I'm not, I'm not like having issues with this because I know they're gonna be fine. 
Um, so I'm okay, I'm okay. But it was a conversation I think they needed to have. And of course you have fights with your spouse. I guess that's just normal. So I'm glad that they kind of screamed it out and I hope Maya goes to therapy. That's what I'm truly hoping for, that she goes to therapy. So, and I'm, I really hope that Stefania, that Karina is pregnant. Hopefully she is and I can't wait to see more of them. And probably Karina like growing a belly. That would be fun. So I cannot wait to see that. And honestly, Travis being mayor, I need it. I truly do. I need Maya to talk to Chief Ross about everything and just apologize to her and say like, you know, I was just angry and pissed and it was impulsive and I know that I need to deal with that and, and try to talk it out with someone and get better. But that was what happened and I'm sorry. Like she needs to apologize. I think that's, I don't know if she has done that but I think she should. I still hate that everything happened because she saved the kid's life. I hate that, but yeah, I'm still pissed about that, but well. It was a great first episode, guys. The tornado thing was just crazy and I cannot wait to see the next episode. So I just wanna say thank you so much for watching, guys. I truly hope you liked it. If you did, please subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and we'll be seeing each other in my next reaction. Bye, guys.